Hello, and welcome to Dark Age Growing. I'm Andrew, and today I'm planting up some sunchokes, also called Jerusalem artichokes. <laughs> it's raining, so we're going to get this done really quick. Like I said, in this video, we're planting sunchoke tubers. So, these are a few of the sunchoke tubers. Any of these growth points right there will make a great start of a plant. So, something like this. I can cut it up anywhere there's a growth point. So that one right there. That small of a piece will develop into a full plant. You can plant a whole tuber. This is where it would have joined in to the larger cluster. If I plant this whole piece right here, I'll get multiple stalks out of it. I don't feel like planting all of it, so I'm just gonna cut off the extra. Even this piece has growth points on it. That can produce a whole nother plant. So that one has one right there, has a couple over here. Let me make that into two plants also. With these, there's no need to wait for them to cure like there is with potato. So I would take it. Plant it with the point either sitting sideways sitting sideways to the pot or straight up and down again with this one choose where you got the most points sticking up now I've got too many pieces for this one planter I'm gonna put three pieces in this one honestly in a pot this size, I could probably go do one, and it would be just fine. I'll put three pieces in this pot this time, just to try it out. Sunchokes are not particularly picky about the soil that they're in, so long as it's well drained and stays relatively moist during the early part of the season, they are very drought tolerant. Water them once a week during the height of the summer. Even if the, the leaves are wilting down a little bit, they'll be just fine. This is just my the cheap local potting soil at a garden shop that I have here. These part, these plants, about three inches deep in the soil. That's all there is to it. Pretty straightforward. Now I think I'm going to get out of the rain. I've recently sold and shipped out a few pounds of these sunchokes, and I'd love to ship out a bunch more. If you can send an email to me at darkagegrowing at gmail.com, I will be sure to 
quote you a price for either half pound or one pound quantities that will meet or beat any other price you've seen online. For people interested in buying sunchoke tubers, I won't be able to ship them out for much longer. These plants, these tubers, are starting to grow and they do not want to wait much longer. Um, I'd say another two weeks. If you want to get your sunchoke tubers, your Jerusalem artichoke tubers, through the mail from me, I can ship them out through mid-April. Much beyond that, uh, no guarantees. I have a lot of sunchokes growing in this bed, and I just don't want them coming up through the fence line, because above them, I'm growing peas. So right now, I'm pulling out the sunchokes that were starting to creep up too close to the fence line. That little piece of tuber is enough to grow into a whole other plant. Little piece right there. Little piece right there. You make two full size stalks. So while I was doing this, digging out that area, I was filling in order. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to get more information on how to grow your food during challenging times.